So this is the video to take a look at Suno Studio. It's in preview for people who've joined the waitlist under the uh, premium license and I have got access. So let's jump in and take a look at what they're offering us. So at the moment you can see we've now got a new tag that shows up on our videos made with Studio. Um, so I've been playing around with it, but what I'm going to do is go down to this song here. Uh, if you don't recognize this, this is the new UI that's recently been released. And so what we have is our new options over here, and we've now got Open in Studio. So what that does is it opens a project, and this gives us access, uh, which I'm quite happy about, um, to pretty much all of our uh, capabilities in the UI. So we can go and create a song in here, uh, but we can minimize that. Oh, and if you notice here, we don't currently have uh, version 5. So this does say that it's going to be part of the version 5 release. We also have our workspaces in here and can go and select either all of our songs or the songs from our workspaces, uh, which is quite useful. And you'll see I've got this song here already. I'll um, just delete that so we can show how we can select that. And this is beta early access preview. So this is probably not what the final release is gonna look like, but it is worth getting some understanding of what they're bringing to us. So I'm gonna come into my workspace. And as we saw here, I'm gonna take the song Gravity. Now I'm not sure the various ways to add this, but I do know uh, there's a drag and drop option. So I'm gonna use that and then minimize this area here. So what you can see is we have a few options on the actual song itself. So we can go in and do things like uh, add a take lane, delete, duplicate, and rename. So um, you'll see there if we duplicate it, that's a, a lane there, um, we can delete that. Um, we can also come in here and if you have external inputs, so this is where you'd add things like a synthesizer, an electric guitar or a microphone, um, you can actually add those into uh, the recording uh, and have the option for you to be able to add your own details into the song. If you look here, we can minimize that. Um, we've got uh, a couple of options there. So they are actually making some quite good use of the space in here, which I like. And over here, we've got this export option. We've got a couple of things going on here. So we can do the full song, uh, selected time range. So let's just select that. Selected time range or multi-track. And I'll show you that once we've got the stems in here. Uh, what we're also able to see here is um, we've got the basics very similar to what's over in this part here. We've got the ability to rename it. We can recolor it, which when you're breaking it up into different segments means you can keep track of them using colors. We can delete and duplicate from here um, and we can minimize that menu. So the, the menu minimization across the track here seems to be quite useful. And we also have a second layout option. So you'll see we can have it up the top and across the bottom of the screen if that's something you're more comfortable with. So when we're dealing with this, if we take a look down the bottom, we have the ability to do uh, the song creation. So we can put in the styles, the lyrics, and do a create from down here. Um, we also have the ability to use the various options that you're probably used to from the song creation tool. So that's available to you inside the studio, which is nice to be able to do that here. You can also add a track. Um, you can upload information from externally. So if you've recorded those things, uh, you, your voice or your guitar or whatever it is that you want to add there, you can um, upload that and bring it in. You can manage your beats per minute, a metronome. And here you've got your play options, including the follow playhead, which means that as the song's playing, if you've expanded this out um, quite a distance, uh, let's select that there and go do that. Uh, following the playhead means it will actually, let's go on this. So you'll see it'll, it'll move the track along as you're uh, 
playing the music there. So I'm going to stop that and sync that back to the standard zoom. Now let's get rid of this here. Uh, now you'll see when I've clicked on this part of the song up here, here's where we get the rest of the menu structure. Uh, and what I'm going to do is just hide that for the moment. So uh, we've clicked on this part. Um, this is where you can come in and start to do things like remix the song, you know, adjust the volumes and controls. You've got all these other controls that you're used to from inside the rest of the system. So you can work inside the studio the whole time if you want to. We can also do the original or on beat tempo man management. We've got transpose option, not something I'm across. This is not really my area of expertise. So if somebody wants to outline what that is and how that works in the um, chat underneath the video, um, yeah, give us an education around what transposing does. Um, speed, hopefully speed makes sense um, on your recording. And then you've got clip volume, which is good because I know some of the older songs I've got, uh, the volume controls was something I really wanted to edit. Down here, you can see your prompt that you've used to create the song and you've got your lyrics. And then we've got the stems. And this is really where the most powerful and uh, impactful change part of the new studio comes from. Um, keep an eye on my credits. Uh, when you go to create a stem, We've clicked on this, we go to extract, and you can do just vocals and instrumental, which gives you two stems, uh, hopefully makes sense, or there's detect all, and I'll click on that right now. And you'll see, uh, this has gone and looked at this song, and it's found all the components that it can identify. So we've got vocals, uh, B vocals, drums, bass, guitar, percussion, synth. So those are all the ones it's found. And you'll see we've got versions up the top there. So we'll just um, uh, go and insert those all. Um, if you'll notice, that actually took 50 credits to create that. So just be aware, this is something, once you do that, it is a paid component of uh, the extraction. Um, it doesn't come at no cost. So what we're going to do is we're just going to play the song and have a quick listen. I'm stuck out in the vacuum. So as you can see, we've got all our visibility of what's playing when. So if I jump into a component of the song where all of these things are going off, um, you should see all of the EQ indicators. With a different color reflection. And this is where we can come in and do something like um, the percussion. Does it actually play at the level we want it to? So it's not as loud as I'd like. I can go in here and turn it up. And if we just want to listen to it on its own, we can click on here and it will solo. Or uh, we can go in and switch on and off the various ones we want to do. So as you go through, you can make those adjustments to the various components. You can take them out. You can turn them up. Um, you can probably slow them down. It's going to, going to come up to you guys as to what you want to do here. What we can also see here is as we're doing the project, if you make any issues or adjustments to it, you can go in and see the various versions and you can go in and go back to those earlier versions of the project that you were working on. So if you make a mistake and you need to jump back, you're not just stuck uh, with that mistake. You actually have some good controls in here. Um, if we jump back into the editing tool, uh, when you do the export, there is an indication that we should be able to export to MIDI as part of version 5. I'm not seeing that as an option yet, uh, but, you know, what we've got is quite a lot of variation available here. 
um, quite a significant update in the tool capability for what we can do with the soul from inside the UI. So hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, once again, I'm not an expert in this space. I am looking to learn about it and um, you will see songs coming out that have done some editing and adjustment from me. So hopefully you've enjoyed this video and I will do a whole refresh once version 5 comes out um, showing off all the components of the platform again because I think it's a good time to review. So uh, if you have access to the preview, great. If you don't know it's coming, they're working on it and they are taking feedback. So, um, you know, go have a play if you can or uh, hopefully it'll arrive soon if you can't. Thanks. See ya.